friendly greetings. <laughs> it's Torley here, and I just got out of the shower. I had an idea I wanted to share with you, talk to you about, and that is, pardon, it's a little bit shaky. I'll try to keep my hands steady there. About missing metrics in social media. Now we all know, or we should know, that you have things like comments, number of comments, unique visitors, refer traffic, track back related to comments. It's that sort of stuff, and such and such. However, kind of like matter without energy, there's a lot of words which we don't measure. What did this blog post, what effect? Now, we, we often talk about influence in terms of, okay, how many people linked to it, how many people talked about it, but we don't really measure how many people acted on something. For instance, I think a Smashing Magazine is a great opportunity for this, leading design blog in the world, and there's a lot of articles which are like 35 wonderful film posters or typogra uh, typographical designs, things like that. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. But I'm curious to know not only, okay, people comment, great posts. And I agree, these are fantastic posts. But what did they make as a result with it? If it had tutorials that were linked to, was there a particular tutorial which, and this is something you can't just do right after, like often comments are spontaneous. Uh, we have to look further down the line, weeks or even months, someone to learn a requisite skill. Some Sometimes days if it's something very quick and easy. But I'd like to know what good came out of this. If I taught you, if I had a tutorial, I want you to show me something you've made with it. And that's why I'm so fond in Second Life. Anyone can just watch my tutorials, building and such, and then make a hat and set it my way. And I'll know directly, okay, I've helped because my tutorial enabled them to learn these steps which were required for this content creation. There's a logic to it. It is harder to measure, but that should never ever be an excuse. There's a lot of worth in going beyond the words and figuring out how to translate transmute these words and actions. So I feel this is one of the biggest things that's overlooked right now in social media. We track a lot of stats. We're very much up to our eyeballs and numbers. There's a lot of ideological incest that goes on. People get obsessed with technorati scores, Twitter followers, and that sort of thing. But we're not paying enough attention to what sort of actions and measuring those actions that come out. And of course, one of the easiest ways to do that is via or via <laughs> educational posts, how-tos, things like that. Because that you can directly say and come back to a post weeks down the line if you remember. So there could be a tool that reminds you, okay, you found this post very useful, very inspirational. It had a lot of great highlights. What have you actually done with that? And I think that's what a lot of us would really, really benefit from measuring. So keep your eyes on the missing metrics. And as I like to say, follow up, follow up, follow up.